Hi guys, this is Devin of Backyard Projects, and tonight, actually, I am going to be planting amaryllis bulbs. Now, I know there's about 100 amaryllis bulbs online, but I wanted to give you a little tip that I have learned over the past couple years that I have not seen another video about. So, I ended up getting these amaryllis bulbs from Home Depot. They were like $10. Here is the amaryllis red lion which is awesome. I love the red ones. And here is an Emeralus Min Minerva. M-I-N-E-R-V-A. Minerva. Anyway. Minerva. Minerva. Anyway, so here is the tip that I was wanting to show you. So do you see how the, uh, the stalk is already growing and it's leaning one way? Well, what I have done, it was leaning way over. So what I do is, because the windows are right here, I'll just kind of put it, I'd set it in a little uh, bucket until I was ready to plant it, and I just face it towards the window. And so if you've noticed that it's straightened up a lot. And if I really wanted to take another uh, precaution or a little extra measure, I would just uh, put uh, sticks in it, like little decorative, uh, little curly sticks and stuff like that to kind of help it, hold it up. But I found that it does, that does not always work in my favor. So I'm gonna go ahead and put those bulbs here. So I just have like a regular green pot, and I have a ter terracotta pot. Terracotta. Terracotta. Goodness, it's late, and I have not had enough coffee for the day. Uh, and then I also have some sphagnum moss to decorate it, the top of it, and then I just have some fertilizer to mix in the soil. Now, if it had more roots, I would end up doing the uh, liquid fertilizer, but since it doesn't really have any roots on it, these are, roots are all dried. It doesn't really, uh, it doesn't really serve a purpose for me to do liquid fertilizer. All right, so let's take off the little tag. Now, no matter how hard I've tried, I've tried to keep the tags with the bulbs. It just never works. Now, I do have quite a bit of amaryllis bulbs, but I did not get them stored or put up in time to be able to do uh, my Christmas uh, flowers. So that's why I went ahead and bought some more so I could have some beautiful flowers for Christmas. And the dirt that I'm using is just regular Miracle Grow potting mix soil. Nothing too fancy. All right, so the red one is mine because my partner was wanting the other one. So I will... <laughs> okay, husband. <laughs> I will put it in the prettier pot because why not, right? It's fine. So <laughs> I will put this. Now I did wash these. Um, people are, are, I see all the time that you should wash your pots and to be honest, I never really have, but I wanted to set a good example. So I went ahead and did it. Um, if it wasn't so cold outside, I would put rocks in this in the bottom of it. But right now it is so cold. I do not want to have to go outside. All right, so let's put some dirt in. See, even though this dirt was in my greenhouse, it still is a little cold, but it'll be all right. I was gonna do this out in the greenhouse, but for some reason today, we have like 60 mile per hour winds, and it is ridiculous outside. So I was like, well, I'll do this in my dining room. When filling up your dirt for your bulbs, you don't want to fill it all the way up because the bulb is actually just going to set barely in the dirt. Whenever the summer comes and these are all done and they're just green leafy, I'm going to go ahead and try to plant them in the dirt. I'm gonna see if uh, I get a better, oh, if I can get the bulbs bigger than I normally can get them. Because for some reason, I cannot get the bulbs to be this size for the next year. Now, I am lucky in that with these, I have little babies. Now, when these finally break off, it could take up to three years for these to actually produce anything. So what I do in that case is whenever there are pups like this, I'll just go ahead and plant them with my big ones. So. I'll have the nice green foliage, but I won't have, I won't have the flowers with the little one, but 
it still kind of gives more filler to the pot. So now that I've added my fertilizer, I'll just kind of dig a little bit down like that. Oh, take off any excess. There we go. You better not get no dirt on the floor. All right, so now that we got it in there, I'll just kind of fill around. I don't really want to cover that bulb because if you cover the bulb, then it could get rotted and you don't want that. So you can see that I barely just have it in there. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and take off this. So you can see, you can see where, because when I bought it at the store, it hasn't been in water in a while. You can see where it's kind of pruned up, which means I need to get it in some water. So that's why I went ahead and did this. Now, I will tell you, I've seen at this other store, have you ever gone into a garden center and, you know, the lady that's working at the garden center, you know, she doesn't know what the heck she's talking about and you're like, really lady? You're teaching people wrong? She, uh, they had uh, bulbs there and <laughs> she was telling people, just put it on your desk, it'll still flower. I was like, really? Like no dirt, no water, just put it on your desk and call it done. It's like, yeah, it'll be all right, it'll be cool. And I'm like, no, that is not gonna be cool. Whenever that huge giant flower blooms, it's gonna topple over, you're gonna bust a flower. I'm like, people like that, I, I swear. It, it took everything that I had. Actually, I did correct her, but whatever. And then she turns around and asks somebody, asks somebody in the back, is a poinia or a poinsettia poisonous? I was like, really? He's like teenagers. I can swear. Like they need it. I don't know. Maybe I just asked too much. But anyway, so here is the way that I top dress it. Just to kind of make it look a little pretty. Would be really nice if I had some green moss. That'd be nice. But trying to find green moss in the middle or in December is a little challenging. So I do, like this is okay to cover up the bowl, but uh, whenever you wet it, it'll kind of compact down a little bit and it'll be more flush and it'll look better. But anyway, that is kind of the gist. So I, uh, in the past, I've had one of these stalks. They were giant blooms and they were big and beautiful. And for some reason, the little stalk broke off. Well, I was like, I'm gonna try something. And I, since the stock broke off, I went ahead and just turned it upside down and inside it's all hollow. And I ended up just taking a little rubber band and I hung it upside down from a little hook and I just filled the inside with water. And I had flowers for like the next two or three weeks. It was amazing. Like the bulbs or the flowers kept flo or blooming and all four of them were just beautiful. and. It was just a cool little trick that I tried and it worked. So I did it and it was awesome. So if you do break the stock, just turn it upside down, uh, put a little rubber band around it, a way to hold it, um, fill up the hole with water and it'll still continue to bloom. And it looks kind of cool. It's an upside down flower. It looked really neat. So let me go ahead and get this next one planted. So just to recap, these are my amaryllis. And this is my red lion, and the stalks are growing straight. Now, every couple of days, they are going to be here on this table. Every couple of days, I will turn them. Now, they are growing and they have a little bit of roots, but I won't actually, uh, I'll probably, I'll water it, just initially water it, but I won't water it anymore until I see a lot more growth, because um, I don't want to rot out the bulb. So, you want to keep the stalks straight, and uh, if you want to, you can add like little sticks or twigs or whatever you want to. Now, I have seen in the past that people, instead of using sphagnum moss, they use rocks. You could really top dress it with anything you'd like. Uh, I think I've used uh, chips in the past, like wood chips. Um, it's kind of whatever style you're going for. Now, I also have seen where they uh, stick it in a vase of water with rocks at the bottom. I don't really recommend that because it's I don't know, that's just not my style. I like dirt, so I'm gonna put it in dirt. So on this one, did the same thing. 
gonna water it in. If you notice, the stick is uh, going uh, kind of sideways. So whenever I, after I water it, I will turn it to where this is now facing away from the window. So it'll bring it up more. Um, if you break a stalk, it's not the end of the world. You can still make it work. Uh, and that's about it. Oh, let me show you one more little project that I have going on. So, I've never done this before, but I thought I would try it just to see how it's going. Now, this is a purple hyacinth bulb, and this is a, a bulb vase. So, basically the concept is you fill up the water up to the point to where the roots can grow in. Um, now, I've learned from one of my friends, he does this all the time, and what you do is uh, once you put the water in, you put the where the roots are barely just touching the water. So you just kind of barely touching because you don't want too high because you don't want to rot the bowl. So you just barely do it. And this is only like three days old and it's already got tons more of roots that it weren't there the other day. Uh, and the other little tip is to put it in a dark closet. I have mine in a cabinet that's dark. but Because if you think about it, it's underground. So it's going to be in the dark, so you put it in the dark, and then whenever it finally starts growing, that's whenever you put it in the light, because it's basically in the ground and now it's in the light. It's kind of a, a little mind trick. But <laughs> I think it would be kind of cool. I'm kind of excited to see if I can make it grow, and uh, supposedly the roots will start growing to where it'll hold the flower in there, and I love hyacinths. If you've seen my uh, fall planting, I planted I don't know how many of them, but I planted it a lot. But I'm kind of excited to see how it grows. And I'm gonna put it back in the cabinet and when I start seeing growth out the top, that's whenever I will uh, bring it out to the light. But I'm ready for spring. I'm excited, Thanksgiving is just done and uh, I'm ready for spring already. But anyway, it's like, it's little things like this that kind of help us get through the cold winter months until spring arrives. But anyway, thanks again guys, and I appreciate you watching my videos, and please like and subscribe. Till next time, thanks, bye.